Got it. Okay. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time on this beautiful day, which is Thursday. Welcome, welcome. Y'all, it's nice to have you one more time. We can continue working on this module, which is pretty intermediate. Okay, I'm going to show you what is the thing we're going to do today. So you can have it. Um, this is going to be uh, the team for today. This is section number two. Oh, no, no, no. Time is pressure. Section number two, how do you spend your day? We will continue working with this uh, question, how do you spend your day? And also we're gonna have some time expressions. Okay, this is class number four. So welcome one more time. Okay. Okay, Edgar, thank you so much for letting me know. I got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So uh, this is going to be um, today's agenda, class number four. We're going to work with time expressions, OK? And that is the thing we are going to work today. So welcome, everybody. Also, vamos a estar revisando un poco la plataforma, right? Eh, por si tienen pues algunas, uh, algunas dudas o algunos inconvenientes with some exercises, so we can do it. Uh, we can check them um, here in class today, okay? Uh, as you may know, you have the platform available on um, here. Okay, let me see. First, you have the platform available, so you can check. This week, we're going to have section number two and section number one. So one and two this week, right? There are some exercises available. Also, you have some videos like extra resource. So you can check those anytime. Um, and like um, if you have some questions about some exercises, we can check them together today. I hope that we can have the chance to do it. Right? Uh, I will take the attendance in a few minutes um, just, just before we, we begin with this one. Um, this is like the exercise that we have in the website, in the platform, so you can do it like with yes, no um, answer, right? Sometimes you need to have a full answer here, like a full sentence, and sometimes it's, it's short, it's short, right? So um, you just need to be careful. And this one, which is 1.12, answer the questions about yourself. Remember to give either a complete affirmative or negative answer. So that means that the, the sentence, the answer should be like affirmative or negative, but you should do it like a uh, complete um, answer. Okay, uh, we will be checking these things today also. So you can, um, uh, let's say, have a little bit of practice and as well, you can check your answers as well. Uh, Edgar. Uh, no, um, no. Uh, Brenda, sorry, I haven't done it yet. Okay, uh, I will do it in a few minutes. So these are the exercises that we have. As you may know, uh, here we have more examples about it. We have this reading. Uh, we're gonna check those readings today, right, um, in this class. And don't forget that you need to finish section one and section two this, this week, okay? Um, so let's begin. I will take the attendance. When you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Okay, on this day, which is Thursday. Alison Daniela Celaya. Hello, Alison. Alison, no. Okay. What about Zamora Castillo? Anna Zamora. Ana Zamora. Ana Zamora. Oh, okay, Ana, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ana. I got it. Andrea Marisol. 
Good evening, I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Andrea. It's nice to see you again. Okay, what about um, Andrea is here, right? I guess I think she was having problems with her mic. Andrea Landos. What is Andrea Landos? Yeah, she's driving. It looks like she's driving. Thank you, Andrea. Um, Barbara, Alejandra. Barbara, Alejandra. <laughs> Barbara? Barbara, no? Okay, let me see here. Barbara, okay. Barbara. No, she isn't. Okay. Thank you so much. Sorry, Ann. What about um Carolina? Hello, Carolina. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Oh, how are you? Good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have you. One more Good time. Give me, give me a minute. I'm sorry. Okay. okay here we go. Um, Carolina is here. Okay, Brenda is here, right, Brenda? Are you here? Hello, yeah. good evening. It's nice to see you. Claudia Giselle Lopez. Claudia Giselle Lopez. Claudia Giselle Lopez, no? Okay. What about Cristina America? Cristina America? No, okie dokie. Um, Daniela Magali. Daniela Magali. Present. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome. Um, Fernando. Well, Edgar, you're traveling, right? You're Ed Edgar, I think she told me that he's traveling. Thank you, Edgar. You told me already. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Um, Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. Hello, teacher. Good Welcome. evening. Good evening. Griselda, Lisette Moreno. Good evening. Good evening, Griselda. Um, Ivania Mendoza. Ivania? No? Okay. Uh, Jennifer Torres. Jennifer Torres? No? Jennifer Torres today? Okay. Um, Jennifer Paola Moss. Jennifer Paola. Hello, hello. No? Okay. Um, Jennifer Andrea Marroquín. Jennifer Andrea Marroquín. Hello? No? Okay. What about... Jocelyn Natalia Mancia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Nice to have you. Karen Garcia. Present. Thank you, Karen. Um, Carla Colocho. I'm Hello. here. Thank you, Carla. Um, Laura Molina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Laura. Eh, Leslie Orellana. Good evening, Leslie. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, let me check. Send that thing in the chat. I'm soon. Maybe. Okay, give me a minute. Thank you, Edgar. Leslie, very good. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's continue. Lisbeth Martinez. Hello, Lisbeth. Hi. Well, Hi, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Um, Lorena del Carmen. Hello, Hi, teacher. Lorena. Hi. Good evening, welcome. Lucia Cepeda. Lucia. 
Hello, Lucia. No. Okay. What about Mayra? Mendes. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Mayra. Uh, Raul. Hello, Raul. Good evening. Thank you. Thank nice. you. Nice to see you one more time. Dalila Paraona. Dalila. Hello, hello, no. Okay, okay. What about Ruth del Carmen, chicas? Ruth del Carmen. Hello, Ruth. No? Okay. Um, and then we have Stephanie. Abigail. Mm. Good evening, people. It's nice to have you one more time. Let me check the chat. Uh, Lucia. Okay, Lucia. Thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lucia, okay. He's here. Thank you, Lucia, for letting me know. I will take the attendance one more time at the end of the class. Again, just for you, just to double check that you're here, okay? So again, it's nice to have you. Griselda, hello, Griselda. How are you today? Welcome. Thank you. I have a question for you. Are you ready for the weekend? Are you ready for the weekend? Are you ready for the weekend? Are you ready for the Oh, Lista, are you ready for the weekend? Uh, yes. Oh, sounds good. What about you, Laura? Are you ready for the weekend, Laura? Okay, you, you're not ready for the weekend. Okay, what about you, Raul? Are you ready for the weekend? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, Raul, what are you going to do on the weekend? Raul, what are your plans for the weekend? Work. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's late afternoon. Okay, do, do, you work, do you work on Saturdays? Yes. Oh, at noon. at noon. Okay. So you work in the morning till noon, right? Yes. Very good. What about you, Lisbeth Martinez? Do you work on the weekend? No. No, you don't. Okay. That's very good. What do you do on the weekend? Um. Go to the church. Oh, you go to church. Is that on Saturday or on Sunday? On Sunday in the morning. And Saturday, you go to the. How do you say cancha? How do you say cancha? Oh, it's like you go out, uh, uh, like a soccer, soccer field? Yes, uh, soccer field. Okay, very good. That's good. Thank you so much, Brenda Castro. Hello, good evening. What are you, what do you do on the weekend, Brenda? Hello, teacher. I go uh, a play soccer. Excuse me, can you repeat that again? I go play soccer. Oh, you play or soccer? Basketball. Or basketball. Or basketball. Okay, where do you go? It's like, where do you go? Oh. <laughs> I mean, what, what is the place? Is that in San Salvador? Uh, uh, in, in, in Quetzaltepeque. Oh, Quetzaltepeque. What is that located? Yes. Is that in Santa Ana or San Miguel? Oh, La Libertad. Oh, it's La Libertad. That sounds pretty good. Yes. Thank you so much. Interesting. What about you, Jocelyn? Natalia? Disculpe, no lo entendí la pregunta. What about you? Are you ready for this weekend? This weekend? ¿Está lista para el fin de semana? Are you ready for this weekend? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, tell me, how are you ready? ¿Cómo está lista? How are you ready? Mm, ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Asistir a una boda? Oh, I'm going. I'm going to a wedding. I'm going to a wedding. Okay. A wedding. You're going to a wedding. Oh. 
That's very good. When is that? Saturday or Sunday? Es, es una, un familiar prima. Yeah, but when is that? ¿Qué día es? When is that? Saturday or es Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Is that in the morning or in the afternoon? After. Oh, wh what is the time of that wedding? Um, five. Five p.m. Okay. Five p.m. Mm -hmm. are, are you going to dance? Are you going to dance? Mm, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. That's good. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing that, Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How's the weather? How's the weather over there? Good evening. Um, How how's the weather? Como está el clima? Are you on the stuff there? Oh, okay. How's okay, the weather? Um, um is sorry. That's okay. Is that hot it's, or cold? It's cold. Uh, cold. The 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 um, the wind. Mm -hmm. The wind it's 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 cold. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's because I'm looking at like your camera and you're wearing like like a sweater, right? Okay. Very good. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Thank you so much. What is your favorite food, Ernesto? My favorite food is uh, it. Mm, uh, pupusas. Oh, everybody <laughs> loves pupusas, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody yes. loves pupusas. What about you, Barbara? Do you love pupusas? Yes, teacher. Oh, how, how, how often do you eat pupusas? Um, always. Uh, always. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's delicious but not nutritious. Be careful, Barbara, because if you eat it every day, it's like with, with cabbage and such, it's like, just be careful because it's like not, not healthy, you know what I mean? I mean, delicious, but not nutritious, right? What about you, Andrea Landos? Do you like vegetables? Andrea, do you? Yes. Eat? Oh, what is your favorite yes. vegetable? Broccoli. Oh, broccoli. Okay, that sounds good. Stephanie Abigail, question for you. Sorry, teacher, what is your question? What do you think about fast food? Um, potato. <laughs> I, mean, no, I mean, what do you think about fast food? What is your opinion about it? Uh, it's delicious. <laughs> okay, it's delicious. How often, how often do you eat that kind of food? Sorry? How often do you eat that kind of food? How often? Like how often, like one uh, once a week, twice a week, or three times a week? No, once. Once, once. a week, okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Jennifer, okay. thank you so much. Jennifer, hello. Good. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, fíjese que no, no había podido entrar a la clase y no sé si ya pasó lista. Yes, Jennifer, ya pasé lista. Eh, no sé si me puede eh, anotar, por favor. Sí, la voy a tomar al final, no se preocupe. One more time. Okay, muchas gracias. Perfect, wonderful. Yeah, so a uh, simple present is about everything we do every single day. Okay, so um, you need to play with verbs a lot. You need to play with do and does. For example, okay, what do you do on the weekend? What do you do on Monday? What do you do on Saturday? What is your daily routine? What is your schedule? Yeah, so you have different things that you do during the day, right? In English, this thing is called simple present. Oh my gosh, Mayra, you look very young. How old are you? <laughs> you look very young, Mayra. How old are you? Thank you for el cumplido. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for my daughter. Oh, look at that. How old is your daughter? Is Lenny? I mean, how old is she? She's, she is um 20 or 20 years old. No, 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 no. 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. Sorry, 12. Okay, 12. What's her name? 
Arleni. Oh, okay. What is something that you like about her? <laughs> something that you Creo say, oh my gosh, my, my daughter is good at doing this. You know what I mean? She's uh, friendly. Oh, that's very kind. It's nice to meet yeah. you. What's, what's her name again? Arleni. Arleni. Nice to meet you, Arleni. Okay, welcome. It's nice, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to start working with the content that we have for today. I hope that we can cover it as much as possible and then we can check the platform, okay, where you have the exercises, right? Um, we're going to have this practice on this one. Time expressions, okay? We have these time expressions that goes related to the date, okay? During the day, during the day, you have different, like, parts of the day, right? You have morning, you have afternoon, you have evening, and sometimes you have, well, not sometimes, always you have night. So these time expressions goes with this one, right? Raul, ayúdeme a leer esta information, please. Thank you so much. Time expression, use in with the morning, afternoon, evening. Use at with night, he, go, he goes to a school in the afternoon and work at the night. But on Friday, Friday night, use at with clock time. She gets up at seven. Use on with day. He gets up early on weekdays. She has class on Mondays. Complete, complete the conversation with time expression for the box. You can use some words more time than once. Very good. More than once. More than once significa más que una vez, right? More than once. Very good, Raúl. Thank you so much. So in here, we're going to use in con esta parte del día. Morning, afternoon, evening. With these three, we are going to use in. Okay? So for example, when do you go to school? I go to school in the morning. Okay? When do you go to the movie theater? I go to the movie theater in the afternoon, okay? When do you have dinner? I have dinner in the evening. So we're gonna use in with these three parts of day, morning, afternoon, and evening. And then we have the preposition or the expression at, and this one goes with time, okay? So that means you need to have a schedule, a time, okay? For example, when you start working, when you start working, I start working at 7 a.m., okay? When is the wedding? Alguien dijo que iba a una wedding, right? Yes? Okay. Uh, when is the wedding? Alguien me dijo que iba a una wedding. When is that? Okay, alguien me dijo que iba a una wedding, a una boda. Somebody told me that. I forgot, Stephanie. I'm sorry. Stephanie. ¿Quién me dijo que iba a una wedding on the weekend? Jocelyn. <laughs> Jocelyn. Okay, Jocelyn. La cuestión es para usted. When is the wedding? Mm -hmm. when, when, is dijo the... when... When, when is the wedding? ¿Cuándo es la boda? Um, ¿Cuándo es la boda? Mm -hmm. Saturday. On Saturday? Uh -huh, um, 5 p.m. Exactly. So, entonces ahí va a decir usted, on Saturday at on Saturday. 5 p.m. So, uh, I'm p.m. Okay. Exactly. Okay. On is the, is the time here, expression on, va siempre con los días de la semana. Yes? Days of the week. Okay. Well, wow, with days of the week, always. For example, Anna Marisol. Hello, Anna Marisol. Good evening. Ayúdeme. Tell me, days of the week. Dígame los días de la semana. Days of the week. Yes. Yes, continue. Um, Thursday? Yes. 
Friday. Yes. Saturday. Yes. Um. Um. Saturday and Domingo. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, Domingo. <laughs> Um, domingo. Um, ay, se me fue el domingo, dice. Ok, Sunday. <ríe> así, decimos, así, así decimos cuando se nos va el domingo, ¿verdad? Como las dos de la tarde. Las dos de la tarde decimos, domingo. oh my gosh. Sunday is gone. Okay. Okay. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, exactly. Sunday. Yeah, right. Ya, ya me okay. pasa el nervio. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. So we have week days and we have like days of the week, right? We have those days. Entonces, para los días, utilizamos on, antes. Para la hora, utilizamos at. Y para estas partes del día, three, we use in. Okay. Vamos a completar este exercise. Okay. Y luego, participation count. Okay. Si alguien tiene alguna cuestión o tiene alguna duda, let me know on this one. Yes? Let me know so I can help you with this. So, tiene que completarlo utilizando at, early, in, on, and until. Si no sabe qué significa one of those, avíseme. Let me know. Maybe uno de sus compañeros will help you o yo le puedo ayudar with that one. Okay? Yes? Once you finish, raise your hand for participation. Okay. Thank you. Oops, ah, next time I will put it like that part so you can see it better. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, we have house. How's your new job? I love it, but the hours are difficult. I start work 6.30 a.m. and I work 3.30. That's interesting. I work saying hours, but I work night. I start 6.30, the evening finish, I'm sorry, the evening and finish 3.30 the morning. Wow, what time do you get up? What time do you get up? Well, I get up 4.30, go to bed 5.30, I sleep 2 o'clock, but I only work weekends so it's okay what about you oh i work monday wednesday friday and i get up around 5 a.m so in the blank space you need to use these time expressions according to the context okay again when you finish when you finish let me know so you can participate Oops, creo que dejé de compartir, right? Let me know. Yes, teacher, no hay nada. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me help you with it. So lo voy a mover un poquito porque necesito your names. I need your names on the camera and I don't have them. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Yes, that's better. That's better. Okay. So again, when you finish, raise your hand, raise your hand so you can participate on this one. Claro, remember that not all of you participate in the class because of the time, right? But if, if if you can like do it, just raise your hand and tell me. Lorena, thank you. Let's do let's do the first one. Okay. Let it be. Okay. I love it, but the hours are difficult. I start work at the I at six. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we have at here, right? And I work at one more time, right? Why? Because we have the time. If you notice the instruction, at goes with time. Okay, that's very good. Thank you so much. Great job. If somebody else is ready, raise your hand so you can participate.
Thank you, Lisbeth. Continue. Mm, that interesting work the same hours, but I work at night. I start at 6 30 the evening and finish at 30, 3 30. Mm, I know this is I had the morning. Okay, one more time, please. I'm sorry. Six, six thirty. The evening. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have that's interesting. Continue. Six thirty on the evening. And finish at three. Three thirty on the morning. Oh, in in the morning. Sorry, in the. Thank you. What about this one, Lisbeth? What about this part here? Is in or on? What do you think? In. In. But the on is for for days. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's why we have in, because it's a part of the day in the evening and in the morning. Very good. Okay. And also the rest we have at night. Very good, great job, okay. Andrea, continue, please, thank you. Okay, well, I get hung at 4.30 and go to bed at 5.30 and I sleep at, at two o'clock but I only work on weekends, so it's okay. What about you? Sigo, teacher? Please, thank you. Okay, I work on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I get up. Um, I'm not sure, early? teacher, but uh -huh, I think it's early. Um, no, it's going to be at. At? Okay. Or well, we can say early. We can use both of them if you want. Okay. The first one is okay. the first, uh, the, the one that I will use. Very good. I get up early around five. So instead of using at, you can use go straight with early. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Mm, teacher, um, I have a question. Yeah. Around is alrededor de las cinco. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Thank you. you got it. You got it. Very good. Okay. Great job, people. That's wonderful. Everybody did very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, let me see what else do we have here. Okay, just a few uh, more examples about this one. Time expression and how do we use this thing, uh, which is this one. Okay, here we have some prepositions of time. Again, tenemos different things. Ahorita estamos con preposition of time. En otra ocasión puede ser preposition of place. Okay, ahorita vamos con time. If you notice, we have add with this time okay times of the day meal times holidays and expressions in goes with month seasons years decades centuries long periods parts of the day and we have on with days dates parts of a specific day and we have these typical expressions that we don't use things like this one. This is an irregular thing, okay? 
So if you notice, this is the way you are going to use these ones, okay? Again, how do we learn these ones? By using it, okay? Exactly. For example, let me give you an, an example with that thing. Random people, Ruth. Hello, Ruth. Hello, teacher. What do you do on Monday? On Monday? Yes. Este is on. Okay. What time do you get up on Monday? I am work. Okay. So I, I did two questions to you. La primera es esta, okay. What, ah, uh, sorry. Okay. What do you do on Monday? Okay. So that's the first question. Yeah. Ahora, por favor, tomen el apunte de esa pregunta y necesito que la respondan. No ahorita, right? No que la responda on the weekend. Con 10 cosas que usted hace en este día, right? Usted puede cambiarle el día. Yo que le puse on Monday, usted puede cambiarlo para Wednesday, Friday, Saturday y Sunday. Y la second question que le hice is something about... Okay, let me see. It's like, what time do you get up on... Monday. Ok. So, esto es que a la primera vez, ¿qué hace usted el lunes? Y la segunda one es, ¿a qué hora se levanta? ¿Qué hora se levanta? What time do you get up on Monday? Ok. So, these answers for these questions is somehow long. Es un poco larga las answers for these questions. Porque aquí, Yo le pido, what do you do on Monday? ¿Qué hace usted on Monday? Every day you do, hace más de 50 cosas, creo, right? Yes? Depending on the things that you do, right? Yeah? Some things are natural, like breathing, like hearing, right? But maybe you go to the bank. Maybe, Raúl? Este, las 10 que vamos a poner sería, por ejemplo... Cualquier día de la semana, como acaba de decir. Exactly. You can change the day. You can change the day, right? Yeah. Or maybe you can say, oh, on Saturday. Yes. ¿Qué, qué cosas hace on Saturday? Yeah. Necesito que las tomen un apunte. Como una routine. Como una routine. Exactly. Pero solo sería de un día, right? Solo es un día. Okay. Mm -hmm. Igual tiene que ponerle las horas. Por ejemplo, I have lunch. At uh, 1 p.m., okay? Or algunos tienen lunch at noon, right? Entonces, Entonces este teacher en la de get out sería I get out 5 a.m. Okay, o tiene que utilizar una preposición antes de la hora. ¿Cuál preposición I utiliza? I get out open at 7 at, Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Very good. I get up at 7 a.m. I get up at 7 Okay, yep, that's the way. Okay, tome apuntes esto, um, téngalo listo el lunes on Monday, le voy a preguntar esta same questions to you, so you can participate by doing this, okay? Tiene que tener lista las 10 sentences, yeah? So you have them ready, anótelos. Utilice siempre el, el time expression, right? Like this one, right? Y utilice siempre um, el simple present tense. ¿Preguntas acerca de esto? No. Ok, igual, no tiene que mandarme nada. Solo necesito que lo haga en your notebook and be ready on Monday. Ok? Just that. This is just for practice. Ok? Uh, vamos a revisar un poco la platform. Tenemos el platform donde usted pues va avanzando with the exercises that you have available over here. Um, let me see what I have that thing. Okay, entonces, uh, we will have some, some exercises so we can check them together really quick. Okay, uh, which is these ones. These ones are about 
uh, questions. Are you from the United States? What is the answer in this one, in number one? Yes. What is the answer? Hi, Stephanie, thank you. The answer is yes, I am from the United States. Yes, I am from uh, the uh, United uh, States. In, in this platform, just be careful because sometimes tiene que darle hasta hasta punto tiene que ponerle. Yes, period. Exactly, exactly. So in that one, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, that is the way. So you need to like do it again and keep working. Dalila, what about number two, Dalila? Dalila. Ni las he hecho todavía. Oh, okay, okay. So the question is: Is your teacher from Canada? <laughs> No, me imagino que no. Salvadoreño. Okay, so ¿cómo quedaría? No. 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 Sería no is not. No, no sé. Okay. ¿Cuál from... es el pronombre que utiliza para, para ti? No. Cuando es caballero. No, no he. No, no he. he's. No, he's not. He is not. Okay. Probablemente... Este, this is right, right, Dalila? Pero no sé si el sistema me va a pedir que le ponga from Canada. No, he's not yeah. from Canada. Ok, voy a ponerlo porque no sé. Ok. Yeah, very good. So these are like with verb to be, if you notice, right? What about number three? Alison, Angel, number three. Alison. So, sorry, teacher. Okay, number three, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is your is your English English class in the morning? Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Oh my gosh. Uh huh. What is the answer? Um. No. Okay. No, no. it isn't. No, it. Okay. Ethan. Ok, vamos a dejarlo así. Probablemente me pida otra forma. Right. Ok, solo aquí tenemos English va con mayúsculas. Ok, sorry. English goes with capital letter here. Andrea, number four. Please. Ok. Uh, yes, we are. Yes, we are the same age. So, mire, he isn't. Oh, so he's not. Okay, vamos a ver. Maybe because I wrote like, oh, maybe because I wrote this one. No, he's not. Ahí le, la plataforma le pide con sí. Ahí es sí, es ella. Sí, se la acepta. Oh, <laughs> te lo cambiaron. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's check. Oh, te tengo que escribir the full thing. Okay, sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Canada. Everybody's going to Canada. I don't know why. Yeah, that is correct. Very good. We are going to have the reading. Here we have a reading thing, okay? Let me make it bigger so you can see it better. Okay. Here we have this reading. Let me see. Okay, here we go. A little bit more. Okay, thank you so much. Participation, let's begin. Um, Daniela. I'm sorry, Daniela. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I'm reading this. Really eh, fíjese que me pareció un, un cuadrito. Okay, ahorita. What about now? Eh, leo desde las indicaciones. What's What's in a name? What in a name? Look at the name in the article. Do you know any people with tenses name? What are they like? Like Thank your you. name is very. Your name 
is very important when you think of yourself, you probably think of your life first. It is an important part of your identity. Identity. Thank you so much. Identity. Thank you so much. Andrea, continue. Teacher, me sale como el cuadrito. Hello. What about now? Okay, okay. ¿Qué está pasando? No sé qué. Mm. Eh, no sé si, si ven todos el, la, el reading o sí. no lo pueden ver. Ahora sí. Ahora okay. sí. Ok. Ok. Uh, right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And, and why are some and why are some names unpopular? Sigo, teacher? Oh, please continue. Okay. Names can become popular because of famous actor, TV or book. Of or book characters or a clip. Popular names who has very positive scenes and popular names who has negative scenes. Uh, surprisingly. No, surprisingly. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about name from a recent survey. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, we have like uh, pronunciation like athletes. Mm -hmm. Okay, athletes. Uh, okay. Athletes, characters. Uh, very good. Let's continue with somebody else. What about Brenda? Continue, Brenda, please, with the reading. El uh, yes, that's right. Boys, boys' names: George, Avery, Avery, <laughs> Boring, Paco, Paco, Creative, Friendly, Michael, Good Looking, Athletic, Athletic, Stanley, Nerdy, Serious, uh, Dear Names, Betty, All Fash. Fashionable, uh, very, very good. How's the point of Continue, average. Average, average. Emily, independent and aventurous. Jane, a uh, plain, ordinary. Nicole, a uh, beautiful, intelligent. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. So we have this like survey, like what is like. When you hear the name, what comes to you, right? Some names like George, Jacob, Michael, Stanley, Betty, Emily, Jane, and, and Nicole. So and then we have a little bit of description about these names, right? Ernesto, continue with the reading, Ernesto. Thank you so much. So why do parents give the ch child, 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 children, uh, unpopular names. The big, biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named, named, named af after a family. Member of course, opinions can ch change. Over time, uh, a name. A name. <laughs> that is popular now. Uh, mind became uh, became popular well, in the future. Okay. Chat chat good news for all the 
George. And bet very very over there. Sorry, teacher, my baby. <laughs> uh, I know, don't worry. That's okay. Okay, that's okay. So basically, what is that reading about? Mm -hmm. Participation. Raise your hand. What is this reading about? Thank you, Andrea. Uh, está hablando acerca de lo importante que es como la identidad del nombre, o sea, por lo que nos identificamos, eh, que es nuestro nombre y sobre los nombres más famosos que existen en este caso en Estados Unidos, eh, que, este, quiero que más. <ríe> Uh, eso eh, que, y que a veces hay, hay familias que, uh, y que toman como los nombres de, o sea, como de sus miembros más importantes, como una tradición, ¿no? Como digamos, le ponen el nombre de la abuelita, como algo así, se me, me imagino yo que es lo que quieren dar a entender con eso. Andrea, that is correct. Everything is perfect, wonderful, very good. The only thing is that that's in Spanish. I was expecting you to say it in English. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everything is perfect, right? We're talking about names, right? Different names, popular names and unpopular names in the U.S., right? And also, as your classmate was saying, it is about like a tradition to name a person um, based on like somebody else, you know what I mean? A relative, right? Maybe you... you a father's names or maybe like uncle's names, right? We're gonna have this thing. Um, your name is part of your identity. That is true or false? True, true. That is true. Okay, what about people often feel the same way about particular names? True, true. Okay, true. boys' names are more popular than girls', girls names. False. Oh. That's false. What about number four? People are often named after family members. True. true. Looks true. Opinions about names can change. True. That true. is true or false? True. 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 Okay, let's check. Oh, look at that. Everybody got a 10. Very good. Okay. Very good. <laughs> okay. So again. Again, our recommendation, right? So this is like the sections that we have in here. Also, oh, better make a start loading this thing, right? It's loading. We have these sections in here, if you notice, right? Um, simple present. Then we have this exercise with double edge questions. Donde se tiene que seleccionar do or does. Goes or go according to the sentence, okay? Uh, voy a dejarlos en este exercise and I will take the attendance again. Y luego, we get back to this exercise so we can do it together. Yes? Um, let me see, attendance. Alison. Hello, Alison. Hello, teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you. One more time. Okay. Uh, Ana, Marisol, Zamora. Ana Marisol, thank you. Eh, Andrea Marisol Represa. I'm here. Thank you, thank you. Andrea Vanessa Landos. Present. Thank you. Uh, Barbara. Alejandra Cabrera. Barbara Alejandra Cabrera. Present, teacher. Pero... Thank you so much. Vanessa Landos. I think I said that already, right? Yeah, me había preguntado. Okay, si I'm pensaba. sorry. <laughs> Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Thank you so much. Hello. Carolina del Carmen. Present. Um, Claudia oh, López. Okay. Claudia López. Hello, Claudia. No? Okay, what about Cristina? Hello, Cristina. No? Okay, um, Daniela Asensio. Present. Thank you, Edgar. Ernesto. Griselda. Uh, oh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Griselda. Ivania. Here. 
Thank you, Edgar, and also Ernesto. Thank you so much. E, Vania. Are you here, Vania? No? Okay. Let's continue with um, Jennifer Guadalupe Torres. Jennifer Guadalupe Torres. No? Okay. Let's continue with um, Jennifer Paola Moss. Jennifer Paola. Hello? No? Okay. Uh, Jennifer Andrea Marroquín. Hello. Jennifer. Thank you so much. Um, Jocelyn, Natalia Mancia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Carla Colocho. Laura Molina. Thank you so much. Laura Molina. Yes, Thank you, Laura. Um, Leslie Orellana. Present. Thank you. Um, Liz Beth de Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Laura del Carmen. Lucia. Present, teacher. I think I said Lorena del Carmen, right? I apologize. Lorena del Carmen. Yeah. Present, Sorry. teacher. Thank you. Uh, Mayra Mendez. I'm here. Thank you, Mayra. Uh, Raul. Dalila. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Ruth. Ruth. Present. Thank you, Ruth. And Stephanie Abigail. Let me check the chat really quick. Edgar, very good, Edgar. I checked that. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the exercise that we have in the platform, which is about simple present tense. Um, here we have participation. Raise your hand so you can participate with the answer, please. Let me know. Um, let me see. Brenda, thank you so much, Brenda. I got you. No problem. Okay, I got you. Andrea, number one. What do you do? Continue. Uh, I'm a full-time student. I study the, the violin. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, Lorena, thank you. Number two. Where do you go to school? I go to the New York School of Music. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Stephanie, continue with number three. How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. Very good. Okay. Um, let's continue with you, Dalila. Number four. No, se me puso borroso ahorita. Okay. Yeah. Ese nombre es Tanya. Nombre de persona. Tania, Tania. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Entonces sería... What does Tanya do? Tania, yo sigo con Tania. What does Tania do? She's a teacher. Very good. Thank you so much. Barbara, continue with number five. Okay. Uh, what does she do exactly? Be... Ah, she, perdón. She teach, teach ¿cómo, no sé cómo se dice. That is the way. Exactly, that's right. Math. Math, very good. What does, what does, very good. What does. Very good. Uh, Lucia, continue with number six. Number six, Lucia, please. Thank you. What about Brian? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company. Works. Thank you so much. And Ruth, number seven. Este, what does he do exactly? He creates crea website. Creates. Creates. Great. Cre creates. Great. Creates. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's check the exercise. Very good. Everybody got a 10. Great job. 
Again, so you have this material available here. Don't forget you need to do it. Okay. Um, so um, in here you have like the material. With these are the prepositions we were working today, right? Prepositions of time. So you, you do the exercise in here. If you have a, like a, want to recheck, you can check the videos. Here you have the videos about time expressions so you can keep practicing this thing, okay? Uh, questions about this thing? Questions about this? Teacher, en la última donde donde es auditiva. La presión de audio. En esa sí me costó. Yeah, sometimes it's sort of difficult, but um, again, you can like redo it as many times as possible. Okay, este, este website está para que, digamos, se equivoque usted, pero vuelva a corregir y así. Okay, so hasta que lo, lo, lo hace con right. You know what I mean? Okay. okay, people, it was nice to have you. Enjoy your weekend. Be nice and be kind. Take care, and we will see you on Monday. Bye bye. I have a question. Uh, what, what is the second question? The homework? The, the second oh, question? Oh, yes. What, oh, time? It's like, what time do you get up on Monday? Ah, okay. Thank you. Perfect. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.